just to be just just to be close to you yes so let our viewers know about apostle david taylor well you know it, uh, it started, you know, at 17 years old, I used to smoke dope, drink, party, be in shootouts, all that from Memphis, Tennessee. And uh, when I was 17 years old, Jesus appeared to me in a dream. That's how it all started. Your dreams are important. They are not just some figment of your imagination or just because you ate enough popcorn last night. Dreams is God's French. You see, uh, when God speaks to you through a prophet, it's plain. He speaks to you in American. But when he speaks to you in dreams, he speaks to you in another language, in French. God has been coming upon your bed. God as a military has given us strategical war plans. We have raised up a dream army. You wanna know what the key, why the Roman Empire, before you be seated, I want you to listen to me. You wanna know why they ruled the empire, they ruled the world for 1,000 years? They would select and find people who dreamed in their sleep. This is known in the history books. They would find people who dreamed or had the gift of dreaming, and they would take them on the battlefield with them, and they would listen to their dreams about the other side of the enemy. So I'm not talking about witches, warlocks, or necromancers. I'm not talking about sorcerers or wizards. I'm talking about real dreamers. How many of you know God can strengthen you through your enemies? That's why you should never worry about your enemies having dreams about you. And I can't even begin to tell you how many times my enemies and those who were once my friends, but they're my enemies now, they had a dream about my life of stuff I'm doing now. So tonight we're studying on dreams. I have never preached on this message ever in my life. It was given to me by the Holy Ghost tonight. I wasn't studying somewhere for seven hours before this service or last night. When I got up here to speak, the Holy Ghost say, dreams. I said, I don't even know what that is in the Bible, God. So I'm sorry to disappoint me, you. I know you probably thought I was studying this message all night. Because I am not a false prophet. The Lord spoke to me just now. And just because someone is called a pope don't really mean they're the pope. <laughs> it's who God gives the power to. He gave it to me. I'm not a liar. Jesus came to me. So I started to realize I'm the pope. I don't need no robes. I'm the pontiff. I've been chosen by God to hold the highest rank out of all preachers in the world. But I'm bold enough to say that because the Son of God came to me. And when I give a word to somebody, they should obey. When they don't, they're disrespecting the highest order in the land. Like, I would have never known the magnitude of who I am with the keys of the kingdom if it wasn't for me going online, watching them talk about me on social media. You need to understand that I have learned to listen to my enemies. So that's why I listen to my enemies. I go on the website and listen to what they're saying to me. I laugh. I have a great time. And that's why none of these, these jokers out here, no matter what they do, if you notice, every attack they try to level against me, it, they never win. They fail every time. How do you fight the person who's given the top power in the church? By the Lord Jesus Christ himself. How do you win against anybody like that? You can't win. It's better to get on my side. Because this is still going to be going after you're gone. I had a staff some years ago, like almost 17 years ago. And some of them have betrayed me and left. And now I've gotten reports from some of them. They're just looking on TV, watching everything happening, crying, saying, I can't believe I missed this. And you may not like me because I don't like those shoes he got on with all those designs on it and stuff. Well, I'm still a prophet. These clothes don't make me who I am. I just think he's too flashy. Got on alligator skins. God don't give a freak about none of that. All he care about is the heart. That's right. But when you don't know who you are, you'll be a sucker to anybody. That's why these jokers lose every time to me. Every time they will continue to. When many leaders were coming against me, and I'm not talking about small leaders, massive ones, trying to 
sabotaged my whole ministry. He gave me a song. I trust you, Lord, when things don't go my way. I trust you, Lord, when things are going wrong. You make me strong. Uh, I, I want to show you this, this, this um, pillow case, and it says it got the scripture on there, Job 33, 14 through 15, God speaketh once. Job 33, 14 through 15, God speaketh once. And if you call in today and order this, I'll send this to you. You need this today. And then I also did the kind for you girls. I know you love pink, you know, so I know the women want the pink. And uh, this is so anointed. God will start appearing to you through dreams if you will sleep on these anointed pillowcases. So the boy kind is blue and the girls kind is pink. If you study Abraham Lincoln, you not know our president, Abraham Lincoln, lost his life because he didn't understand his dream. Abraham Lincoln was shown in his sleep of his death, and he didn't know it was his death. But he wrote this in the history books, and his wife recorded it. It's still on record today. Three days later, he's killed. Hmm. You're ignoring your dreams, or having ignorance to your dreams can cost you your life. Now, did you not know that God uh, gave Nicholas, uh, Nikolai, uh, who won the golfing championship, he had a dream of that. Just recently in the, um, in the, uh, the Olympics, in the soccer Olympics, whatever that was in Brazil, God gave a man a dream that he would make the play that he made. He talked about it on the news. He speaks to scientists. He speaks to IT people. Do you not know the owner of Google said openly on television, that the way he became a multi-billion dollar company, Google became a multi-billion dollar company, is because he dreamed in his sleep. Did you not know light bulbs was discovered because of a dream? Thomas Edison discovered the light bulb because he talks about God gave him a dream and that's how he discovered the light bulb. E equals MC squared by Albert Einstein was shown to him. That uh, amazing equation that solved many problems was discovered by Albert Einstein in a dream. He discovered it in a dream. Mm -hmm. Abraham Lincoln lost his life for the ignorance of his dream. Don't stay ignorant to your dreams. Mm -hmm. Also go to our website. I have a dream dictionary on, on our website. Go there. Actually, you know, that's right down my alley because um, I just started a dream school. Mm. And I'm, I'm about to release 25 books on dreams, which is the curriculum from the school mm -hmm. that I've wrote from having 22 years of experience on being a dream interpreter. Mm -hmm. There's actually someone named Andrea watching this right now. Mm -hmm. She has cancer in her left breast. The Lord is healing her. And just, the Lord just told me that while you were talking, he's healing people right now. Amen. Amen. This ain't no time to wait no more. You ain't waiting for God to do nothing. It's past the time. And God says it's time to ask him to do it now. Ask him to fulfill that thing today, this year. Just to be close to you is my desire.